I'm irritated by decreeing and manifesting. I'm trying to, you know, tone myself down so I don't offend people. Because I'm sure some, of, some people do it in good conscience. But it's a nonsense, but I'm sure you do it in good conscience. I don't, it doesn't matter what, you th- what your motives are for something. It's whether it's biblical. There's not, a, there's not an iota of biblical reason for you to think that you can decree. Who are you? You're not God. Um, you're not a prophet that God has given some special message to decree. And nothing tells me that your faith in Christ means you can decree things. I mean, Paul prayed for a safe journey. Paul prayed that he might be allowed to arrive at places. He never decreed it. If the Apostle Paul is not decreeing his journey and he received direct messages from the Holy Spirit, if he's not decreeing that I'm going to be at Rome, I'm going to be, if he's praying about it, if he's asking the saints, oh, pray for me that I might arrive safely, why do you think children of God are given the power to go around decreeing? It's no wonder that decreeing has such a strong, um, finds such strong similarities in modern day witchcraft, essentially, in divinity. Unbelievers are doing the same thing. It's no surprise because it's not of the Lord. So, I'm, and, and it's a mockery to use confident praying. It's a mockery of, of that because, yes, we do pray with confidence. But to say that that's what it means is a lie. It's not what it means at all. Confident praying is not telling God what's going to happen. But I say it like this. I recognize that it's something that is interwoven into some, certain expressions of our faith. I'm not saying when people pray that way, God is not hearing them. Because I believe sometimes our, our words are not consistent with our hearts. People, some, people are generally crying out to God, but using wrong terminology. I don't think it's right terminology when you're praying um, to say, um, uh, to pray and say, I'm, pr- I'm, I'm praying for you and I say, um, when you, when you, everywhere you go tomorrow, you're going to find favor. Everywhere you go tomorrow, you're, um, you're, going to, you're going to dominate. You're going to be the number one. People are just going to, I don't think that's good praying. That's poor praying. It mocks faith. But it appeals to the flesh. I don't think it's, I don't think it doesn't reflect. It doesn't reflect. I'm asking God for stuff. I'm pleading with him for stuff. Yes, I can't tell you what to do. I see it all the time as well. People do that all the time. It's very irritating to me. <laughs> I see it all the time. They're, they're praying for children. Oh, you, when you go to your class, you're going to be number one. You're going to be, and then that boy goes to class and God hasn't called him to be number one. And now he's, 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 he's side-eyeing your prayers. We don't have to do that. But as I said, very often people are doing that from genuine, a genuine motive. And they're crying out to God. They're really pleading with God. They don't actually mean to say that they're God, you know, and when that's the case, listen, that's between a man's heart and his God, a woman's heart and her God.